hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself today we are going to make these uh, lovely vines which has uh, dangling flowers at the end of it and the pattern is pretty simple uh, so the basket tutorial you can find the link to which in the description in this tutorial you'll learn to make the vines along with the flowers and the base to which we will be attaching the vines so uh, do refer to the description uh, to get details on the things required to make these vines so we are going to start off with this green yarn and we're going to make a slip knot and uh, then we're going to chain 10. so i do apologize because i have a cold and i may not be sounding that great but i still hope you can understand me so here we are chaining 10 so this is the starting uh, part of the vine after which we will add a cluster of leaves so for the cluster we are going to first chain 4 and on the fourth uh, chain from the hook we are going to make a double crochet So on top of this double crochet, we're going to make a chain one pico. So for that chain one, and insert the hook into these two loops at the base and pull through it and then make a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain three again. And we're going to slip stitch to the same stitch at the base. So this is the first leaf of the cluster. So this cluster will have a total of five leaves using the same pattern. So for the second leaf, we are going to start off by chaining three. And then we'll make a double crochet into the same stitch. And then we're going to make a chain one pico. So chain one, insert your hook to the base two loops and make a slip stitch. And then chain three and slip stitch to the same stitch. So this is our second leaf of the cluster. So we'll make the third leaf in a similar manner. Chain three, make a double crochet, and on top of the double crochet, make a chain one pico, and then make a chain three, and then slip stitch back into the same stitch so this is the general pattern which we will be using to make the leaves for the clusters throughout the video so repeat this pattern and make a total of five leaves into the same space so this is our fourth leaf which we are making using the same pattern and this is the fifth leaf and We'll be using the same pattern to make it so chain three and slip stitch back into the same space now this is a space where we are slip stitching now make the slip stitch here and then count the third space from this current space so this is the first space where we have slip stitch so one two three so into this space or through this gap we'll be making the next slip stitch so to make the slip stitch pull the yarn through the middle loop and then what you have to do is uh, we want to bring the stitch to the center of this cluster so for that you can take out the hook and pull this bottom yarn tightly and pull it in the opposite direction so that the uh, knot falls right in the center of this cluster so once you have that done, you can continue with the pattern and now make chain five again. So this is the length that is between the two clusters. And after this, we will be adding the next set of clusters. So to start the next cluster, make a chain of four. And into the fourth chain from the hook, make one double crochet. and then make a chain one pico and then chain three 
and slip stitch back into the same space so you can see that the pattern is exactly the same like what we did for the first set of clusters so repeat the same pattern and make uh, the second set of clusters which will have a set of uh, five leaves as well and uh, the pattern is same so i have uh, uh, speeded up the video you can definitely slow it down using the settings in your uh, YouTube uh, settings section now I just want to show you this uh, part where I uh, start the next uh, next uh, cluster so here I had made the slip stitch now through the third space this is where people generally get confused so I'm going to show it again so make a slip stitch but when you do the slip stitch Pull the bottom uh, thread in the opposite direction so that a knot is formed in the center of the cluster. So here as you can see when I'm pulling it here the slip stitch is formed right in the center of this cluster of leaves. And after that you can go ahead and then chain 5 for the length between the next two clusters. And then repeat the same pattern and you can make these clusters uh, 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 as many clusters as you want and uh, as you would have seen at the beginning of the video i have vines of different lengths so uh, this one i have added few cluster of leaves now i will show you how to add the cluster of flowers at the end of the vine so i'm using a light pink yarn here i'm going to start off by making a slip knot and uh, this slip knot i'm going to connect it to the uh, stitch which is already available here so i'm going to pass see this is the uh, cluster of leaves where i've made the slip knot in the center and after that i'm going to connect this pink yarn so pull this loop to this green loop here and you can pull the yarn of the uh, green loop to make it tight and then now this pink loop which you have in the hook uh, you can tighten it up as well so that you don't want too big of a loop and then you're going to chain six so the difference between the cluster of the green leaves and the pink leaves is that we do not have much gap between the clusters here so here I'm making a chain of six and on the fourth uh, stitch from the hook I'll be making the first set of flower clusters so on the fourth stitch yarn over and make a double crochet so the pattern is exactly the same like we did for the leaves the only difference is that the distance between the cluster of uh, the petals will be less compared to that we did for the leaves so make a slip chain three and make a slip stitch again chain three again make one double crochet into the same space make a chain one picot and then chain three and slip stitch back into the same stitch so as you can see the pattern is exactly the same and uh, the, for the first cluster of petals we will be making five uh, petals into uh, the same stitch so this is the first set and here we are working on the fourth uh, petal here and we will have a total of five petals for this first set so this is the fifth petal and after you're done with the fifth petal as usual like we did we're going to slip stitch into this space and now count three spaces from this space and into the third gap or third space make a slip stitch and pull the yarn in the opposite direction so that a slip stitch knot is formed in the center of this cluster now chain six again so as you can see that we're just chaining six for the next cluster and into the fourth stitch from the hook make a double crochet 
and uh, the second set of clusters the pattern will be exactly the same the only difference is we are going to make four petals instead of five so the first set of petals had five petals the second set of petals will have four petals in them so here as you can see we are making this is a second petal and this is the third petal and we're going to make one more petal so this is the fourth petal so once you're done with the fourth petal make the slip stitch and then here to again through the third space you are going to make the slip stitch so make the slip stitch through the third space and pull the bottom yarn in the opposite direction to place the slip stitch in the center of the cluster and then we are going to chain six again to make the next set of uh, clusters for the petal so chain six and make one double crochet on the fourth chain from the hook and as usual the pattern will be exactly the same to make the petals but here we are going to make a total of three petals so this is the first petal now we're working on the second petal and next we are going to make the third petal so the pattern is exactly the same we are just reducing the count of the petals as we move up so this is the third petal so make the chain one big pull and chain three and slip stitch to the same stitch and now here through the second space so this is where we slip stitch in through the very next space or the second space we are going to make the slip stitch so make a slip stitch and pull the bottom yarn in the opposite direction to place a knot at the center of the cluster so here we are done with the clusters now we are going to make a small bud in the center so for that make a chain of three first and now we're going to pull this yarn and then we're going to yarn over insert the hook into the second chain and pull again and then yarn over and insert the hook into the second chain and pull again so we'll do this three times so that we have a set of loops here in the hook and then pull through all the loops and then make a slip stitch and then chain one now in through this chain one again we'll repeat the process we'll yarn over insert the hook and pull a loop and insert the hook and pull a loop we should do this three times here it's my mistake I did it two times but you should do it for a set of three times and then make a slip stitch now fold it in this way and then through the next stitch at the bottom as shown here that is the next chain make a slip stitch and then again make one more slip stitch on the side and pull the yarn tight to make a knot and then trim off the yarn so you can see the bud is ready at the end of this cluster of flowers so now we are going to stitch in the tail yarns so we have these two pink tail yarns and this green yarn we can trim off and this tail yarn also we need to stitch it in so what i do is i use a smaller crochet hook and pull the 
the yarns through few of the existing stitches so in case of the bud I stitch it through few of the existing stitches then pull it to the inner side of the bud and then once I feel that it is secure enough uh, I'm going to trim it so just trim it on the inner side of the bud so that if any tail yarn pokes out it gets hidden on the inner side similarly for this yarn also uh, at the base of the flower you can just pull uh, it through a few of the existing stitches and once you feel that is it is uh, secure enough you can trim it off if you do not want any edges poking out you can place a dab of fabric glue to it so that the yarn is secure as well and it does not poke out also so there is no right or wrong way of doing this you just have to make sure that the uh, yarn is stitched in <coughs> And also if you are more comfortable uh, stitching in using a needle, you can leave a longer tail yarn and then use a needle and stitch it, uh, stitch them in into the existing stitches using a needle. So here all the stitching job is done and you can make multiple vines uh, based on how many you would like to place in your uh, flower basket and uh, you can make the flowers in similar colors so here you can see i made with two different shades of uh, pink here and uh, once you're done uh, you can stitch it to the base so now we are working on the base so this is a base we're going to use a gray yarn you can use any color yarn we are starting off with a magic ring and making a chain of two and, and now we are going to make 12 double crochets into this magic ring so you can uh, use any color yarn for this base this base will mostly be hidden and won't be shown once you place this uh, vines uh, and this base into a basket so you can use of any uh, scrap yarn lying around and uh, uh, may turn it into this base and here I had this gray yarn uh, which I hardly use also I did not like the uh, quality of this yarn it was very scratchy so I decided to use this and uh, use it up for the base so after the 12 double crochets you're going to slip stitch to the first stitch and then you're going to chain one so this chain one doesn't count as a stitch and you're going to make two double crochets in each stitch or you can call it as making an increase in each of the stitches so since the previous round had uh, 12 double crochets at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 double crochets so just make two double crochets in each stitch uh, till you reach the first stitch so now we're going to again slip stitch to the first stitch and we're going to chain one where chain one doesn't count as a stitch we're going to make one DC or double crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to make two double crochets in the next stitch so make again one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochet in the next stitch so repeat this pattern till you reach the first stitch and by the end of this round you should have a total of 36 double crochets and here again as usual slip stitch to the first stitch chain one and make one double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and an increase in the third stitch so make two double crochets on the third stitch and again one double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets on the third stitch so repeat this pattern till you reach the first stitch So here to make a slip stitch, chain one 
and this round we are just going to make one double crochet in each stitch so just continue making the double crochets around and since the previous round had 48 double crochets this round also you will end up only with 48 double crochets because you're just making one double crochet in each stitch So we end of uh, row number f uh, round number five. We're just going to slip stitch as usual and make a chain one. And round number six also is going to be the same. We are just making one double crochet in each stitch. So just make one double crochet in each of the stitches till you reach the first stitch. And here too, we will have the same stitch count by the end of this round. That is forty eight and once you are at the end of this round we are going to slip stitch again and chain one from this round onwards we will start decreasing so we're going to make first one double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and the next two stitches we're going to decrease so yarn over pull through one uh, stitch pull through the next stitch pull through two loops uh, at a time and do this for three sets of loops so again I'll show you one double crochet in one stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and yarn over pull through one stitch pull through the next stitch pull through first set of two loops second set of two loops and third set of two loops so that way you made a decrease now continue this pattern till the end of this round and uh, once you reach the first stitch we are going to make a slip stitch so here uh, i my uh, previous gray yarn got over so i joined it with another similar gray yarn and as i said the color or how the spear looks will not matter because this will be hidden so i just continued making it with a different uh, slightly different color yarn so for round number seven we are going to make one double crochet and one decrease so here we're making the decrease and so in the next stitch we are going to make one double crochet followed by a decrease for the next two stitches And in this similar manner, continue till the end of this round. And uh, as you continue this round towards the end, you will see that the opening of the sphere has uh, reduced. And we will insert the polyfill uh, at this time. You can also insert scrap yarn if you have uh, that is lying waste in your house and i wanted this sphere to have some weight in it so i'm going to place two uh, pebbles or rocks inside it because sometimes what happens is when i try to put it inside a basket it falls off due to the weight of the vine so i feel if the sphere uh, is weighed down it is better and it holds the vines uh, better in a better way so i'm placing some rocks inside this sphere and then stuffing it with the remaining polyfill and now i'm going to make a slip stitch to the first stitch and then we'll be closing the sphere so make a slip stitch to the first stitch here and make a chain of one and here we'll be decreasing all the stitches so starting itself we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch and then into the next stitch and pull through the first set of two loops the second set of two loops and the third set so immediately the next two stitches again we're going to make a decrease so insert to the first stitch insert to the next stitch pull through two set of loops for three times 
yeah so continue this uh, pattern till you uh, reach the first stitch you are just going to continuously uh, make decreases uh, over the stitches and uh, by the end of this round you should have a, a total of 12 double crochets and uh, once you reach the first stitch you're going to slip stitch and then use a needle so here continue with uh, decreasing uh, the stitches and once you reach the first stitch so here we are at the first stitch so make a slip stitch to the first stitch and then pull the yarn out and leave a long tail and trim it off and now we are going to use a needle to close the opening here so just insert in a zigzag manner through uh, the stitches and then pull tightly to close the opening so once you feel a uh, feel that the opening is closed uh, you can now bring in the vines and then place the vine over the sphere and make the arrangement and just uh, stitch the vines to the sphere so to stitch the vines you can insert the needle through the vines so that do not fall so that they do not fall off so just uh, pull them through the uh, chains of the vine and through the sphere and just stitch them in so here too there is no right or wrong way of stitching the vines to the sphere if you have a better way of doing it you can do that so i'm just trying to make uh, that the vines are securely stitched to the top of the spheres and as you can see you can add more vines I have added around uh, five vines here uh, which are of uh, different lengths and also have uh, two different shades of pink flowers attached to them you can customize this uh, as per your preference you can add more vines you can add different color uh, flowers so do as you like and come up with your own set of vi customized vines and flowers at the end just trim off the extra yarn and now as you can see this is the base and you have the vines uh, available you can use any of these uh, baskets uh, and then uh, if you want the tutorial for the baskets uh, they'll be listed in the description so you can place them in any of these baskets. you can use this uh, basket as well uh, and it looks pretty here or you can use this crochet basket as well and it looks equally pretty here as well so the links to these baskets will be available in the description the tutorials will be available in the description so i really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications on new videos and give me a thumbs up if this video was useful thank you very much for watching and have a great day guys